Today, we're going to go over TradeLocker's built-in risk calculator. If you're familiar with TradingView, TradeLocker should look incredibly similar. Charting will be familiar. So first things first, let's figure out a trade idea and then put a position tool on the chart to represent the position we're interested in taking. This looks like a head and shoulders pattern, so why don't we go ahead and mark this off and we can expect, or at least hope, for price to retrace into the shoulder piece of the pattern here. So from here, let's go ahead and place our position tool. We can put our stop above the head and we can put our take profit at 2R. Once we place our entry, stop loss, and take profit, let's go over to the risk calculator and click this arrow to expand the tool. From here, you're going to choose whether you want a market order or a pending order. The system will adjust between stop orders and limit orders automatically depending on which is appropriate for the entry in relation to current price. For now, let's place a pending order. Now you'll choose whether you want to buy or sell. In this case, we're looking at a short position, so let's click sell. Next, we need to click these three checkboxes, stop loss, take profit, and risk, which is located down here towards the bottom. By clicking the risk button, you're associating a dollar amount or percentage of your account towards this trade, regardless of the actual stop loss size. This is how you ensure you're always risking a consistent amount every single trade. So now that we have these three boxes checked, you have a choice to make. Do you want to risk $1,000 of your $100,000 account regardless of your current balance, or would you prefer to automatically scale the 1% to match your balance? For now, let's go with the P&L option and input $1,000 for our stop loss and $2,000 for our take profit. Now, when we drag around our stop loss and take profit lines, the lot size will automatically adjust to make sure that we're risking exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and drag our stop loss and take profit to match the position tool that we laid out earlier. And you can see here over in the calculator that we're still looking exactly at a $1,000 stop loss and just under $2,000 for the take profit. Once you have everything set and you can confirm the locations of your entry, stop loss, and take profit, as well as double checking the amount of money being risked, you're ready to click the sell button. As you can see, the pending order was submitted. If you wanted to take a market order instead of a pending order, what you can do once you click this arrow is make sure that you're on market, sell, stop loss, take profit, and risk are all highlighted. And then you would just do the same thing. You would just wait for price to be where you want it to, or if this is the end of the candle and you're looking at entering immediately, make sure that your stop loss matches your position tool. Make sure your take profit matches your position tool. Make sure your P and L matches exactly what you want it to be and then you would go ahead and hit sell. And as you can see, the position is automatically opened because it's a market order, as opposed to the pending order, which would be opened later. Thank you guys, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below.